of the ground, but it's taken two defenders. Another drive from Belvedere College. They move the ball further infield now. Hawkshaw moves it on. Carney is lined up and tackled. Gets past the first tackle though. Nobody too much wide, but can Hawkshaw make it all the way in? He can indeed! He scored a vital try in the first game. He's got over here. Belvedere College extend the lead. Conversion to come, but they have a nine-point lead. And the Belvedere support has gone absolutely bananas in Donnybrook. What a change of pace. Look at this. Through the forwards, through the backs. Look at this change of pace. Hand off and he goes. Yeah, desperate efforts from Luke Gaffney to make the tackle. Tried to wrap Hawkshaw up, but he couldn't keep him out. The out half. He's a powerful number 10. You can see the training throughout the players, though, John. Just, I was just watching some of the subs warming up before coming on for Belvedere as well. They're all doing the same type of training. They're doing a lot of reactionary stuff, a lot of change in the pace work, and you can certainly see it on the pitch, forwards and backs, able to switch gears. Conversion attempt now coming from Connor Jennings. He struck it nicely. Oh, there's a silence from the Belvedere crowd, so you know it's slid past the uprights. But still a nine-point lead. You can expect a ferocious final ten minutes here. Oh, Blackrock were in a corner in the last game. They got out of it by the skin of their teeth. Can they do something again? They need to get downfield and get a score quickly. But if there's one side that can do it, it's the men in blue.